Hi, in this video I'm going to give an overview of the Technomate TM500 Super, okay? This is a very, very popular Linux-based satellite receiver made by Technomate, who makes some of the best satellite receivers in the world, okay? Uh, the reason that this box is so popular is it's so flexible. The Linux operating system allows it to take a feeds not just from the, a satellite, uh, like a traditional receiver, but also you can connect it into, uh, onto your PC for recording and also onto the internet to access um, virtually any online um, uh, TV channel, okay? So basically what comes on with this kit, you have the Technomate uh, 500 box itself, you have a power lead, uh, you have a, a user's manual, uh, a twin pack of AAA batteries and a remote control itself. So moving on to the actual box itself which I have here. We see here um, on the extreme left hand side we have the power button, we have uh, an up and down left and right button, a menu button, an exit button, an OK button and an info button. And if we pull down the flap here, uh, we'll see that we have a smart card reader here. So we'll insert a viewing card in here with chip facing upwards uh, and the reader can read it. Okay. Now I'll turn the box around just to show you the back of it. And what we have here is we have an LMB input here which will take a feed from a satellite dish and a loop out where you can actually feed it off uh, that signal to uh, a second um, satellite box. N never used in my experience. But anyway we have a modem here and then where, we, the, where the real magic happens here is the Ethernet port where we're normally connecting uh, a Cat5 Ethernet uh, cable. Okay. We have an RS-232 connection here which you normally use for programming boxes. Um, uh, 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 you have an SP uh, diff here as well, which is a digital, a digital output here. And also we have an antenna in where we could feed an aerial in, for instance, into the box with the iris channels. And then we have an RF modulator built into the box. So we could feed out the, the channels from the aerial along with the output from this box to a second room. Now it doesn't have a 9 volt output, so it's not possible to uh, work a sky eye off it unless you use something like a tri, tri, uh, a tri link which will um, create the 9 volt signal for you. Uh, okay, so we have uh, two SCARs one for the TV and another one to feed uh, uh, a video, a VCR output. We have an on off button and we also have a, a power uh, lead here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you the three basic connections other than, well four if we, we use an Ethernet connection but we want in this particular example um, how to connect up this box. Okay. So what we do now is we come along and the first thing we'll do is we take, um, we have a satellite dish outside and we take this connector here. What we'll actually do is we'll screw this in here and we'll feed it into the LMB input here. Okay, so what we do here is we just rotate, rotate, so, and we have that connector in tight. And now we come along and we take our SCART lead here. And finally then what we have is a power lead here. Okay, and we input it here. We make sure that the power plug is plugged in over here. So at that point there, we can just come along and we'll see very quickly it loads up when it says Technomate not on the screen. Now a frustrating feature about the Linux fully loading here is it, it can take a little while for it to load up. But it's, it, you know, in many ways when you're thinking about this box, it's more uh, comparable to a PC than a, um, a st standard satellite receiver because it has an operating system that it needs to load in. Okay. So we'll just wait for a few moments here and hopefully we'll be printed, we'll prompted with a series of menus about doing the initial install on this box. So by default, when you're choosing your language, it's the English language, okay? So that, that'll obviously suit most people. But um, So we come along here and we just press the OK button. And this, uh, the time zone here is uh, Greenwich. Uh, mean time, uh, so that it's the same for Dublin as it is for um, London, things like that. So just simply hit the green button to save this. And now it's coming along and it's asking about DISEC switches here. So um, it's saying uh, no DISEC where a satellite dish is taking feed from a single uh, satellite or we have other uh, configurations here where we'd have uh, two or multiple satellites feeding in. And what happens here is in, in terms of a wiring perspective, you run a feed from each of the different LMBs, either multiple dishes or a single, a single large satellite dish with multiple LMBs on it, each pointed towards a different satellite dish in the sky. And what we do is we feed it them all into a DISIC switch, which combines all of those um, outputs uh, into a single um, uh, a feed that will be used to feed the satellite receiver and then the satellite receiver can actually take feeds from, from several different satellites uh, and switch between different satellites seamlessly. Okay, so at this point we'll simply hit the OK button 
to flick on. And it, it, by default, which is quite strange, it defaults on the Hotbird 6 satellite, which is 13 uh, degrees east, okay? Now, why I find that a little bit strange is if the English language is the default, Hotbird is not an English language satellite. But if you come along here and press OK on it, Hotbird generally would be used by uh, Polish, German people. Uh, well, certain thing, more Astro one, but a lot of continental countries, okay? So what we want to do is come down to 28 degrees east, okay? So Astra uh, 2 satellite, okay? So we find here we have the Eurobird um, Astra. So what we do is we come to that point, we click OK, and then we press, press the green button to save that particular setting, okay? And uh, we'll be brought on to the next menu here, which is what do we want to do? Do we want to do a manual scan, an automatic multi-sat scan, or a, a satellite uh, search? So at this point, I'll just come to go with the automatic satellite search. Press OK. And we just press OK here again. Say that's satellite. Um, so what it's asking here initially is, um, uh, do we want to search free channels only? Um, so we'll say actually yes, we'll only search free things because we won't be using a viewing card with this, okay? Uh, so we come down along and we press the green button to start the scan. So we kick off the scan at this particular point in time. Now we might, um, so we'll, we'll come along here and how many channels have been found to date? Uh, 10 channels almost instantaneously. So what it's doing here is it'll work its way through all the various different transponders. So you can see there's a time uh, expectation here of how long it's going to take to do this entire scan. Um, so, um, you know, probably not uh, so surprising here. We're going to actually break the filming at this point here. And we're going to rejoin uh, at a later point uh, when we will have finished the scan. And I'll actually we'll mark on a thing how long the scan took at that particular time. Often we'll say at the initial part of scans, the amount of times that they're indicating it's going to take can often be quite inaccurate. Uh, and for most other satellite receivers, if you're working through, it'll probably take maybe four to five minutes to do a scan. But I'll update you on that in a little while. So we're just going to break the filming there. Uh, okay, after a 20-something minute uh, wait, uh, the box now has finished its um, uh, auto-scan of the satellites. And you can see the returns. It has returned a total of uh, 72 transponders, but mainly uh, 302 um, TV channels and a total of uh, 84 radio stations. Okay, the scan is, um, and now press OK to close the window. Uh, do you want to save? Uh, we clearly do, so we say OK. Or do you want to scan a, a, another satellite? That's in case we have to do a scan on a second, if we had a multiple satellite set up, we'll simply say no. And then that's it. Um, and basically then, anyway, we, we have the, the channels listed there. So that's it.